Good morning. My name is Barb Malera. I'm a member of the team at Harvesting History. We're an heirloom horticultural products company. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most beloved spring flowers of all time, the giant snowdrop known as Galanthus elswi. This particular variety of snowdrop was introduced into the United States in 1874 and has remained the most popular snowdrop for well more than 125 years. Galanthus elsy is a very very early bloomer and so it is extremely important as a nourisher of our pollinators. You should plant it for civic and environmental reasons if for no other reason than that. They are deer resistant. I'll repeat that. They are deer and critter resistant. They are hardy from zones three to zones eight. They should be planted at a depth of around four to six inches and should be separated bulb to bulb by no more than two to four inches. If you want an instant presence in your garden, you're really going to need to plant about 25 bulbs in order to get an, a really good presence in your garden. Now, also remember though that these plants, these bulbs, multiply very quickly. So even if you plant five of them, you'll have 10 or 15 plants in easily in two to three years. So let's take a look at the video essay we have done on the giant snowdrop. This is a stand of snowdrops known as Galanthus elsby. They are native to the Middle East and the Mediterranean. They were first introduced into Europe and the British Isles around 1874. The plants grow to about six to seven inches tall. They are, if not the first, one of the very first bulbs to bloom in the spring. And if you notice, they have that sweet little green heart at the center of the petals. We hope you enjoyed that little video essay on the giant snowdrop known as Galanthus elsewhere. There are four things I would like for you to remember from that video essay. Number one, these plants are very significant nourishers of pollinators in the early spring. So it is critically important to have them in your garden for the pollinators. Secondly, these bulbs are deer and critter resistant, truly deer and critter resistant. Third, these bulbs can, are hardy from zones three to zones eight. They should be planted at a depth of four to six inches and should be separated bulb to bulb by no more than two to four inches. So if you are looking for something that is environmentally wonderful, will feed your pollinators, and is the most incredible little breath and hint that spring is coming, then put a few snowdrops in your garden. They're always and always will be a great symbol of hope. Spring is coming.